The senseless murder of retired Folsom prison guard Holly Wing tore a family apart and stole the innocence of the small town of Rescue, California. The homicide has gone unsolved for more than 30 years. And now in a Fox 40 special report, investigators are for the first time releasing information from the cold case files that they believe will help solve the case. While the pace of life continues to speed up, there are still some places where time seems to stand still. Welcome to Rescue California. The one road in and out is a little busier these days, but other than that, not a lot has changed over the years. Some of the same failed here during the gold rush era still live on their original homesteads, like the Wing family. They settled in this community in the 1850s, before it even had a name. No city hall, no police station, the community center is it. And it bears the name of the man no one in this rural town will ever forget, especially his children. It's been 30 years since dad's been gone. It don't seem like it's any easier. <laughs> Pain still felt by Gene Wing and Margaret Krantz more than 30 years after their father, Holly, was murdered on the very property they still live on. From then on, it was just fe not fear so much as missing my dad. Holly's wife, Bernice, a witness to the homicide, but could do nothing to stop it. A retired prison guard from Folsom, Holly always kept a watchful eye on his kids' homes. So when he noticed an unfamiliar car drive up, Holly went to check it out. His wife watching with binoculars as he encountered two men. Hallie got back into his car, tried to leave, but one of those men shot him. Monday, June the 2nd, 1986, at 11.20 in the morning. I, I can remember that just like it was yesterday. Okay, this here is our murder room. The Hallie Wing case and about 60 other unsolved homicides are the reasons the El Dorado County Office of the District Attorney started a cold case task force. Um, the autopsy report. Uh, Three more binders like this one filled with witness statements, possible persons of interest, endless notes from dozens of investigators, but no arrests. Time is now the biggest challenge. As, as time proceeds, you know, you start, you, th those people start falling off the grid and whether they, they're deceased or extremely difficult to find. So the task force got creative, enlisted the help of social media, and for the first time in more than three decades, is releasing new information about the burglary related to Hallie's murder. In addition to several pieces of jewelry that were taken from the home, several firearms were also stolen, two rifles and two shotguns, items unique enough. The district attorney believes someone still has them or knows where they ended up. Somebody who's watching this knows something about this case. We're going to find the person, if at all possible, and hold them accountable for their actions. For the Wing family, it's their last hope. I'm not much for interviews, but I hope what we're doing today is going to help solve this case. Before I die, I want to see it solved for me and for the rest of the family. Now, the Wing family is offering a $25,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of Hallie's killer and a $5,000 reward if you have one of those stolen items from the Wing family property.